Zaandam and Saas is Gaans. In this travel vlog we spend the night in the peculiar looking city of Zaandam. The next day we also visit the open air museum in Saas is Gaans, where you can see some windmills close by and be a proper tourist. Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this vlog. Today we are in the city of Zanda, which is a city that almost looks like it's not real. I have never been here before, but as you can see here behind me, there's this really weird looking building. It basically looks like a bunch of houses on top of each other, but it is actually a hotel. This is also the hotel where we are going to be staying tonight. The whole city looks really fun. It looks almost like an amusement park or something. It doesn't look real. I'm currently here alone, but my boyfriend will be joining me within a few hours. He had to work. I still have about an hour before the check-in to the hotel and I'm actually really, really hungry. I haven't eaten any lunch yet and it's already past 2 p.m. So I'm I'm starting to get very hungry. Let's go and find something to eat. Okay, I don't think I want to eat at Subway, but isn't this the cutest Subway building? I love it. Right next to the Subway, there's a really cute looking cafe. I think this will be the perfect place where to grab a late lunch. This really cute looking little cafe that's very close by the hotel to yeah have something to eat I'm so hungry I was in a bit of a rush to get here and I had a quite a hectic morning with a lot to do so I'm happy that I'm finally here and now I have some time to just relax have some food finally really pretty the portion so I think it's bread with cooked egg and avocado and cream cheese and a bunch of vegetables let's try it it's really really good it is now about three o'clock so it is time to go and check into the hotel luckily we are literally right next to it so yeah I'm really interested to see what it looks like on the inside so here in the middle of the city we have a huge canal going through and then it opens up here and here we have the hotel. Okay, so it seems like in order to get to the hotel, we first have to take the escalators down. myself checked in and the room is on floor number five so let's take the elevator and go and check it out wow this room is huge so let's take a look at this hotel room the first thing that caught my attention is this picture on the wall it's huge so we have this huge picture of women working basically you come into the room and here we have a couch and there's a desk and a chair and then we have a big bed here and then we have this mini kitchen kind of thing and then we have a bathroom oh we have a really nice looking bathtub and then we have a mirror and we also have a shower so there's both a shower and a bathtub here so that's really nice but actually this hotel also has a spa with a sauna and swimming pool and everything. I'm not sure if we have time to try out this bathtub because yeah, I think I rather wanna go to the spa. Looks really cool, I'm pretty happy with this room. So the view is not that special, you can see a bit of the greenhouses. Here on the number you can see the picture that everyone has inside. Here for example in the room next to me, there's a beautiful city view. Seems like everyone has their own picture on the wall. Oh, this one would have been quite fun, like a Zandam thing yeah that's pretty cool we even have someone who has a picture of mustard and someone else who has chocolate but yeah 
I'm now gonna go back outside. I'm gonna check out the cute shops that I saw and I'm also gonna go and meet up with my boyfriend basically. My boyfriend is supposed to arrive in just a few minutes. We have arrived back to the hotel room and now we're both here and we actually found that there's an explanation here on the wall what is going on in the picture. So it's some factory where they are producing bread and biscuits. It is now evening and it is now the evening time and we are on our way out eating to a restaurant where I have a dinner reservation for us. just had a very nice meal and now we're going to the movies there is a big cinema right next to the hotel we want to have a bit of a date night tonight so we had a nice dinner and now we're going to the movies and we're gonna see the movie Babylon The movie is now over. It took three hours, so it was a very long movie. We are back at the hotel. I'm gonna stop filming for today and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. And tomorrow is an exciting day, exploring a bunch of windmills and stuff. So see you then. Good morning. We have quite recently just woken up and yeah, I haven't even <laughs> brushed my hair or anything yet but the plan now is to go and check out the spa and yeah there's supposed to be a swimming pool and saunas and that kind of stuff so I think that's the perfect way to start this Saturday. We came to the spa and there's literally no one here. We have a private spa. It is now time for us to check out from this hotel and first we're gonna have some brunch still here in Zandam and then I think we're gonna take the train over to Saint Sechans. For brunch we have decided to come to this cute little looking place. <laughs> Our food has arrived and look, my portion is huge. It's bread with mozzarella and tomato and pesto. And then my boyfriend took an outsmite it. <laughs> but yeah, it's basically egg and is it bacon? Yeah. And bread. Bon appetit! Right to Sans Chance. And the first thing you can see here is this huge windmill. And it's only just the start. I'm so happy. It's still January here, so yeah, I wasn't sure how the weather would be. The chance of it being a rainy day was quite big, but we ended up getting a beautiful day. There's almost no clouds in the sky. I'm 
So we have arrived to the open air museum here in saint Sichans, and it's basically like a typical old school Dutch village uh, full of these cute green little houses and there's a bunch of shops and windmills and it's free to visit this open air museum so it's easy to come here just for the day and a day trip if you want to see some windmills when visiting Amsterdam for example I think there's a lot of day tours and group tours and stuff coming here or you can just take the train yourself it's a very fun looking place it feels like like you're in some kind of amusement park or something. But yeah, let's explore it together. Here you can see there's an Albert Heijn. An Albert Heijn is basically probably the most famous grocery store here in the Netherlands. And it says there on the sign, this is the first grocery store ever in the Netherlands. In saint Sichans, you can easily spend several hours. It is a lovely place where to just walk around and admire the old traditional houses and windmills. It is also a great place where to get some cute photos. This is probably the most touristic Dutch tin can I've ever seen, but I don't know, I kind of want to buy it. It's really cute. Only 8 euros, so it's not too bad. Here you can see chocolate that is made here in Sanse, Schans. And I think I'm gonna get some would be fun to try. Keep in mind that this is a very popular spot for tourists. You definitely won't be alone on your visit. <laughs> but it's still fun and definitely worth a visit, I think. should definitely also visit this huge cheese shop. Cheese shop, I'm sorry, cheese shop. Why can I not say that? <laughs> really annoying. But you can visit this huge cheese shop where they have free cheese tasting samples available. Strong. <laughs> I didn't like that one. This cheese looks really weird. Blue and purple. Here in saint Sichans, you can also find several huge souvenir shops. There is also a huge shop that is completely dedicated to the traditional Dutch wooden clocks. You can even see some clocks being made right in front of you. Cinnamon, so. so you eat a tree trunk with sweet, cinnamon? No, it's like sweet, sweet wood is called. But it's actual wood? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's a piece of a branch, you chew on, you don't eat it, you chew on. Oh. We came to have something to drink to this cafe is situated right by the water and from here we have the most beautiful view over the windmills. So we also bought this local chocolate. Mm. It's pretty good. 
I think our time here is coming to an end. I hope this video has given you maybe some ideas on where to visit if you're in Amsterdam, for example. Especially seeing these windmills could be something really fun and very Dutch thing to do. You can just walk around, take pictures, and yeah, it's a very lovely day, especially if the weather is nice like it is today. But yeah, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye-bye.